a water rescue going in, going on here with the flash flood threat here in uh, live right now happening from Kaylee Searcy's vantage point 72nd and Pinckney. Kaylee, you're dialed in. What can you tell us what we're seeing here? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So they are getting people out of their cars right now. There's a lot of cars that are almost fully submerged. You can see that silver car there and those people that are waist deep. They are trying to get them all out of the cars. I just spoke to people here on the side that said that they hurried up and ran out of their cars because they just seen the water just rushing and coming up. And then again, it's waist deep and even depending on how tall you are, it's even it's even more water and you have Omaha fire here. And again, there's just a cluster of cars on 72nd Street here that they're trying to make sure that everyone is out now along the road here. You hear there. Obviously, like there's a lot going on here. They're trying to keep people from coming down this way. A lot of people are turning around, but still this silver Jeep here and this black Jeep Renegade. There are still people in these cars. There's still people in these cars now, but they're still trying to get them all out. I'll just throw it back to you guys as we try to work the scene. Yeah, and, and Kay Kaylee said that there's someone in another car right and now, you can it see looks like. How long yeah, have you, you been can, on if scene, If you can still Kaylee. see, the, the, they're getting out right now. I've been here for just about maybe 30 to 45 and minutes. And in the time we've seen, had to move, yeah. but you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, since we've been out here, we had to move just because we seen the water rising. Mm. And I would say it started rising just within maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. Each time it kept going up and up. And it's starting to get almost where it's covering the, the wheels here, the tires here of that Jeep. And they're starting to have to come out because they realize that the water just kept coming up and up. And even here, just this area, just over here on 72nd and Pinckney, this wasn't even flooded. This wasn't even covered. We didn't mm. even have any of this covered with this much water. So in the last 10 to 15 minutes, it is now where people are. You see this car, they're all turning around and it's a lot of water. It's a large body of water here. Yeah, folks, that's why we're saying just how fast this can happen and why you cannot drive through ro roadways and waterways like this. Kaylee, it looked like some some good Samaritans watching on the side even coming in and trying to help some of those people trapped in their cars. Is that what you've seen from your point of view as well? Absolutely. Mm. And Absolutely. There was a group who came all together, wading through the water and helping each other, trying to come through because they were all the way up there in the cluster of cars and they came to the higher concrete because this is the only part right now that is not flooded. This is the only part that's not flooded with water. Everything else has been flooded and there was no other safe ground. So they are starting to come this way. If you can see, these are all people whose cars were flooded mm. and they all were able to get out safely. And now they're just sitting off here to the side. And like I said, yes, a lot of good Samaritans are just kind of helping each other, trying to make sure everyone gets to safety. Okay, can you tell us, is that water, is it moving or is it, I mean, I can see kind of, it looks like it might be rushing water. Yeah, so it looks like it looks like it was rushing at one point, but right now it is it's moving almost like moving down the street here. And I think that is why these cars are starting to starting to become a little bit more submerged because of the hill that it's almost on. So the water is kind of just pulling in this area now. So it is it's almost like it's it's not rushing anymore. It's now mm -hmm. more still, but I think just all the movement of everyone getting out like you can see this woman who just got out of that Jeep Renegade there. She was trapped in there since we've got here and just her car. It wasn't even that submerged just, you know, 15 mm -hmm. minutes ago. It was less there was less water surrounding her car. And so now just you can see she's knee deep in the water and that's just at the lower part of the street. But when you keep going up and up, it just it gets higher, it gets higher up to the chest. Jeez. OK, I think we're yeah. going to send it back to Sean. He might have an update. Thank you, Kaylee. Thanks, Kaylee. Just some perspective where Kaylee's Thanks, at. Guys. We've got the view from our sky cam. Uh, again, this is north of Maple and south of military, and it kind of creates a bowl. If you bring it back out to uh, uh, max one right now with with me on screen, come back, come back out here. Mm. There we go. Uh, so this is where it is pinky right now. This is maple up here. You go down here and from military. So it's going to the lowest point. And as we've been inundated with that heavy rainfall, it's all settling right there uh, near Platten Pinckney Street. Uh, and that's where we're seeing the most significant flooding there. Now back we've got. Uh,